This is not the way I wanted to do this, but you know me. Any chance to take the easy way out? Or maybe that used to be true, I don't know. What I do know is I owe you the truth. And I don't know how else to tell you. And you know as well as I do, if I showed up on your doorstep, you'd yell or give me guilt or crap or whatever you do that seems to always set me straight. And when that didn't work, you'd flop in my bed and say the one perfect thing that would make sense. But the thing is, I can't come back. I can't face you. I deserve the guilt and to be called an ass, but I don't want to be set straight. I don't want you to say the right thing because the one perfect thing isn't in Seattle. Not anymore. I swear it's not about work or you or Joe. It's about me. I left and I'm with Izzy. This is probably the part where you're gonna get on your phone and call a million times and leave hateful messages on my machine till I call you back. But I can't, Mayor. I can't lie to you and I can't promise I'm gonna come home because it's not home anymore. When you were in danger of losing your license, when I called everyone to write letters and show up on your behalf, I called Izzy too. I wanna say I hope she wouldn't answer, but the truth is, I hope she would. I want to say I had to call her for you, but that would be a lie. The truth is your trial gave me an excuse good enough to call her. Because I wanted to know where she landed. I wanted to know if she was alive and well. <laughs> I wanted to hear her voice. When she picked up, I blurted out the whole thing about you picking up trash off the street and needing a letter that proved you're better than that. And she laughed and said, of course you'd be trash picking trying to save the world. And then these voices were in the background that a girl was singing the song about greasy, grimy gopher guts that I learned in first grade and I started laughing and I asked if she had kids and Izzy got quiet. For so long, she was quiet, and finally she said, yeah, I have kids. <laughs> Twins. And it turns out, they're my kids, Mayor. There's so much Izzy's and my kids. And you. She had our kids. But brother, how we must atone. Before my kids, Mayor. They're five and hilarious and stubborn as hell, just like Izzy. Like this little teen that gangs up on me with stubbornness and sticky hands. And the second I walked in the door, they wanted to show me their rooms and look on their faces when they were showing me all their toys and books and asked if they could call me dad oh they're so damn smart smarter than i was at their age hell sometimes at my age and they get to have everything a home where they feel safe and loved and they play sleepover where they just keep swapping beds non-stop all night until they land in ours at 4 a.m and they wake up with two parents when i rarely ever even had one oh i love them man with every inch of me and every cell and i get to be their dad Mary, you are my best friend, and I will miss the hell out of you, but I'm finally exactly where I should be. I never had that before. So, I hope you do come here one day, but not to ask me to leave. I hope you come to meet my kids, and they get to call you Auntie Mare, because you'll love them, and they'll love you. And until you're ready to do that, Try not to hate me too much, please, Alex.